Hey guys, welcome to another issue of this week's releases. My name is Strino, and we got some exciting news to tell you this week. We're doing a giveaway. Um, Woo Pal's money. He's he's giving away twenty dollars in game cards. So you'll get to select that game card. And Woo Pal, you tell me a little more about how this is going to work. Thank you, Strino, for uh, gladly giving up my money. I appreciate that. It's hard earned. Thank you very much. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to have our video this week. We want you to like and subscribe and leave us a comment. We want to know, really, we want to know about any game that's in this week's releases or any game in general. We don't care. We just want to talk to you guys. But after we reach 100 subscribers, everyone that's subscribed up to now, and that's including the 100 subscribers that will subscribe, we are going to put you guys in a hat and draw out 20 bucks for Amazon, PlayStation, Steam, Xbox, Nintendo, whatever you want. We'll get it to you, and we'll work out the details later on how we're going to get it to you. But uh, you got to like, you got to subscribe, and more importantly, leave us a comment. So everyone that's subscribed already, we sincerely appreciate you guys, and we're looking forward to the rest of the 100 coming on this week. That's right, and until we hit 100, every week release video enters you another chance to win if you comment on that week's video. Ooh, I like it. Strong. But I'm hoping – like that we only have one more week of this, but yes. we'll see. So yeah. if it takes us three weeks, you can have up to three chances if you watch and comment on each one of those videos. I like it. I like it. So All right, so now y'all excited to see the new releases coming out this week? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, let's get started then. We're going to throw it out with uh, Apex Legends. Nothing new here. Still the same old game that we all love and play. Uh, but it is coming to Switch on March 9th, so that's pretty cool. I like how Switch is, or not Switch in general, but Nintendo is really starting to bring in, man, I guess like every title they possibly can is what it feels like to me. I seem like every week we do this, it's just a list of Switch games, which is great. I own one, love it. So Apex Legends is also coming to Switch on March the 9th, so pretty awesome. All right, the next for the Elder Scroll fans, they've got a new um, expansion coming out, uh, Flames of Ambition. Actually, it's downloadable content, sorry. True. but Flames I'm, of Ambition. Yeah, and this it looks great. I mean, the, the course of cinematic, it's typical Bethesda, dude. They suck you in. They're like, they're as bad as Blizzard. Their cinematics, doesn't even matter if the game sucks. Their cinematics are so cool that you want to play it anyways. But Yeah, the, the cinematics of this game is spot on. Yeah. But, I mean, it's Elder Scrolls. I've played quite a bit of Elder Scrolls online. It's a great game. I mean, if you like MMOs, it, it's a fun one to play for sure. And this DLC, I think a lot of people have been looking forward to. I mean, they're finally opening up the gates of Oblivion. So, no telling what that's going to incur into the game. I mean, I know there's going to be all sorts of new item sets and uh, collectibles and stuff throughout the game. But this one looks like a good one. And it looks pretty freaky, a little dark maybe. So, there's no telling what could happen. Man, it, it uh, the, that that cinematic has just got me engrossed. I, I I'm gonna have to avoid losing a month and a half or two years of my life to this game. <laughs> That's the problem, man, with these MMOs, dude. Of course, I'm a I'm a completist, so I have a problem when I start a game. I feel like I have to finish it, no matter how good or bad the game is. And with these MMOs, there's like no stop. Somebody gives me a quest to go across the world to pick up a muffin pan, and <laughs> You know, <laughs> that's where I'm at. I'm going to pick up that muffin pad because I want to know if I get a badge or a new sword or something for it. Of all things you could have talked about, dude, a muffin pan? Yeah, that's how I roll. I, I talk about muffin pans, love games. Yeah. yeah for you, you're right. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> moving along here from muffin pans, guys, we're going to talk about Drive-By coming out for PC and Switch this week. Um any lovers of Twisted Metal, you're going to love this game. I mean, it's not it's not Twisted Metal, but it's pretty dang close. You get to drive a car, you get to ram into each other, you got missiles and crap to fire at each other. I'm game. I want to play it. Yeah, and I mean, the simple graphics really don't turn me away from the game. As no. long as everything's spot on and the physics are just, you know, working, I'm good with it. Dude, who doesn't want to jump in a delivery van and shoot homing rockets at other cars? I mean... Really? Yeah, and and I'm guessing maybe that they'll have a delivery of them some muffin pads. <laughs> We're trying to great. gain subscribers love, to the channel. I love, 
<laughs> I love Delivery Quest. Well, then this game's for you, old buddy. <laughs> but, you know, they're also making it uh, multiplayer, four-player multiplayer. So I think that's kind of cool. And, of course, typical racing-ish game. You get to customize and make your car look and feel however you want to. So, I don't know, man. I think it's going to be kind of cool. I don't know the price point on this game, but I wouldn't think it's a $60 game on, on PC or Switch. No, but I would like to sit down on the couch and play this against you. Oh, it'd be a lot of fun, dude. And that's, you know, it's coming out March 31st now. It was supposed to come out March 12th, so that's why it's on this video. But, you know, you get a little look at it anyways, guys. That's right. We're just getting you, we're just getting you a heads up. That's right. So, now... Kind of a this is kind of a week of like updates and downloadable content. Not so many new games coming out really, but anyways, the players of Watch Dogs Legion uh, is probably going to be happy about this one. They're, they are making multiplayer mode for the game, so it's going to be yeah. And I think this game needed that multiplayer mode. Oh, for sure, man. And it's in the, it's not just multiplayer like right here. This Spider Bot Arena, I think that's kind of a cool little addition, man. I mean, I know. You remember that robot show they used to have, like, on, uh... Oh, oh shoot. yeah, Battle, on... Battle Bots Battle or Bots, something. yeah, man, that was a cool show, dude. That's, yeah. that's kind of what that little arena thing reminds me of. Battle Bots with shotguns, though. Fair enough, sure. That but... one had a Gatling gun. <laughs> nice, nice. But, you know, I like, I'm glad to bring a multiplayer, but I'm, I'm more happy, just because you and I play co-op so much, that this is going to have a, a big co-op, uh part of it you better do the do all the missions at, from in london co-op with with other players so i think that's going to be pretty awesome yeah there's just not enough co-op games out there there's there's just not enough released no i agree man i'm glad they're doing this one i think you know they also talked about some of the bugs and some of the weird issues they've been having with the game and previous multiplayer stuff i mean i think this is they're going to try to eliminate a lot of the bugs and things that, that were happening so who knows uh Coming out March 9th for all you guys that play Watch Dogs Legion. I think this is going to be awesome. Uh, like I said, the multiplayer is coming, co op's coming, new content's coming, so should be good. All right, next up we got Cyanide and Happiness, The Freak Apocalypse. Now, this is something new for people. It's not a release, uh, download content, or release on a new console. This is coming to PC and Switch, and it is a very interesting, neat game here. Yeah, if you've got a sick and twisted humor like Strano and I, this game is right up your alley right here. I mean, they they even categorize it as dark humor and very weird. And I think they're absolutely right yeah. about that. I don't know who created this. Man, I'm, I want to look up some more of this, the actual cartoon part of it, before it was made a game. But I think it's going to be hilarious. Yeah, it does look fun. Um you know, I, I guess this is one that we probably don't need to be running at the bottom of the screen. We'll just go ahead and put a a link to that because we are a family friendly show here. True. Yeah, but it's yeah, that's a good point. This is, this game is not family friendly, so yeah, fair, good point. No, but cool thing is it was is brought to us by Kickstarter. So I mean, I'm a big fan of Kickstarter and how they how they bring lesser known titles and indie stuff to us all the time. I I'm. I play a lot of that stuff just to support the people that, that make it because I love, of course, you and I both love gaming and we want to support everybody. So, pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody other than EA, <laughs> which we still end up supporting. Somehow they uh, always manage to suck us back in, man. I don't know. Uh, but it takes two is going to be cool. All right. Yes. <laughs> and then next up, we've got Hyperscape uh, Season 3 Shadow Rising. Yeah. And PC, Xbox, PS. Dude, I, I still don't understand how I missed this game. Like, I don't know nothing about it. I've never seen the game. I've never seen gameplay. I've heard of the title. I've heard of it, but I've, I never even researched it or played it, and I don't know why because it looks like it could be pretty awesome. Yeah, it does. It really has a neat vibe to it. Um, kind of Overwatch meets Tron uh, meets Half-Life. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> True, yeah. And what's weird is, like, I'm – I typically like most Ubisoft games, and this one, this was at Ubisoft, and how I missed the boat on this one, man, I, I just, I don't know, but I think, you know, from what I've read on it, from some blogs and, and forums and stuff, it seems like people are mostly interested and, and excited about that they're bringing back the team deathmatch to this game permanently, so I'm not sure if they maybe tried it before or maybe had like a limited release on team deathmatch, but now it's going to be permanent to the game, and man, who doesn't like team deathmatch, dude? I've played Team Fortress for like I don't know. I feel yeah. like 30 years of my life I've played Team Fortress. Yeah, 
Team Deathmatch is my my gig, man. And I think some of these I think some of these viewers would really like to play with uh, Wu Pao and Strino on their team, and we can show them what some gaming's really like. Yeah, good or bad. That's that's true. Good or bad. Yeah. No. Yeah. And, and a lot of and a lot of trash talk. Oh, that, that's a just lot of part of talk. gaming, dude. That the trash talk is just yeah. it's, it's always going to be there, especially between you and I. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. one of these days we're going to get if our you subscribers just stay together, on point, and we're going to game together. It's going to happen. There you go. Yeah, if you just stay on point, I wouldn't have to trash talk you. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> so, Hyperspace All Season right. 3, guys, that's the last non-featured we have for the week, and we're fixing to roll into the two featured titles. All right, and be sure to stay tuned to the end of that, and um, we'll talk a little more about our giveaway. All right, guys, first feature up, a big one for me, Total War, Three Kingdoms, Fates Divided. Anybody that loves Total War like I do is going to love this game, is going to love this addition to the game, I should say. Comes out March 11th, of course, on Steam, and it's like nine bucks, so kind of hard to beat that. Anybody that is a lover of strategy games, guys, is, if you don't play Total War now, you need to freaking play it. Yeah, definitely an interesting game, different than than a lot of other games out there. Man, it's it's so freaking good. It's like, uh, of course, I grew up playing Warcraft and Starcraft, so strategy is in my blood, man. So this game was a no-brainer when it came out many, many years ago. But this Fates Divided, it adds new faction, uh, new units, new play styles. Um, man, it's it just... They do this game so freaking good, dude. It just gets me more excited every time they release something like this for even more Total War, which is coming soon as well. Right, and this one was delayed, actually, because they wanted to get out some bugs and stuff, and it looks like they're doing a good job on this one, paying attention to every detail. See, I'm all about that, man. I mean, that's that reminds me of, like, you know, Halo Infinite coming out for Xbox One. Uh, is It was delayed for a while, but just like this game, take your time. Work out your bugs, get it right, and give it to us the way it's supposed to be instead of, you know, halfway done and, and riddled with crap that's got to be patched two and three weeks down the road or whatever. So Total War does it right, man. It's it's one of the best strategy games, in my opinion, that's been created. So, And that's that says a lot. There's been a bunch of them. All right, next up is a crowd favorite, Crash Bandicoot. Who can't be excited about this game coming out? Dude, I mean, it's, it's, of course, it's been out. It's just they're now bringing it out for the Xbox XS, PS5, and Switch, I think, now as well, coming out on the March 12th. But yeah, Crash Bandicoot is just one of those, just, it's got a great sense of humor. The, the whole thing just works together, and it's a, just a fun platformer that does the 3D platforming right, which is hard to say. I mean, a lot of games try to go into that 3D platform, and they just can't figure it out. Oh, yeah, dude, and, they, and they're hopefully, from the looks of it, they're going to utilize the current-gen graphics and make it look top-notch. I mean, the worlds itself look, I mean, they're, extremely colorful they're vibrant they, they look they look great the audio is supposed to be outstanding i mean sadly i hate to admit this i haven't played crash bandicoot 4 even on my xbox one which is sad to admit but that's right it, i mean it looks good I, like you said i've not been exposed to crash bandicoot 4 and um it going to a new generation is going to be great because it it looks it looks fun I agree, man. And, and Crash Bandicoot's been it's been around for a long time, obviously, but it's been, like you said, it's a crowd favorite. And this one, I think, has been really well done. Um, I know some friends of mine that have Crash Bandicoot 4, and they've played through the whole thing, and they're actually, you know, they're looking forward to bringing it to their, they've got a PS4, and they just got a PS5, so they're looking to, you know, to upgrade to their PS5 and see, kind of, even play through it again. I'm sure it's, I'm, and the cool thing is it's play through well again because there's so many characters to choose from. Like you can play as all the characters on the game, which I think I, I think it's great, and kind of kind of break up the monotony of playing one character over and over. Yeah, I mean anybody that, that plays Crash Bandicoot in the past, or even new people that's new to Crash Bandicoot and the platformer that it is, it, everybody's gonna love it. I mean, it's 
Right, you know, it's got all these features that they're, that they're bringing to the PS5 and to uh, Series X and S that, you know, of course it talks about a little bit in this video what all they're going to do. This video is, was kind of a PlayStation version, I guess, so to speak, but it rings true for all platforms. So I think it's going to be awesome, man. I, I mean, I, I really want to get this game. I want my kids to play it because I grew up playing Crash Bandicoot. I want them to play it and enjoy it kind of like we did back in the day. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot looks really good. Thanks, guys, for watching. And don't forget to make that comment of your favorite game this week down below, and that will get you entered in if you're a subscriber to our, our giveaway. And um, we really appreciate all our subscribers, everybody that watches, the whole community at large. Um, uh, there's there's one guy that we want to talk about this week, and it is Sega Blocks. Yep, Sega Blocks is he's a good guy, guys. He does a lot of cool stuff with Legos. Um, he does a lot of cool stuff with gaming. Um, he's he's just a good guy in general. He's on he's on YouTube. He's on uh, Twitter with us a lot. Um, we're gonna leave some. We're gonna leave a description at the bottom uh, with him and leave a little channel thing right up here somewhere of Sega Blocks. But if you guys get a chance, check him out. Hey, thanks Sega Blocks for watching and keep up the great content. That's right. Hey, and we'd like to thank everybody, not just Sega Blocks for watching. So we appreciate every one of y'all. You bet. Y'all have a good week.